catch it. Hey, look at it. Good thing I'm not recording right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing a finite geometric series word problem with the bouncing ball problem. So we're going to do the bouncing ball problem right now. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to make a little chart here, okay? Actually, not a chart. We're going to make a graph. We're going to pretend this is the ground. That's the ground, okay? We're going to draw from a height of, it says, let's look, Irene drops the ball straight down from a height of 1.5 meters. With each bounce, it rises four fifths of the height of the previous bounce. When it hits the ground the fifth time, what is the total distance that the ball has traveled? Round your vital energy to the nearest hundred in meters. So here we go. What I'd like to do is like you like draw a little ball up here, and I want you to write, hey, that's all the way up here at 1.5 meters. Okay? So we're just gonna pretend like it's dropping. We're gonna say that's the first bounce, and then this is the second, third, fourth, and then when it hits the ground, the fifth time. So it's going to actually stop there. Okay? So here's going to be a real little drawing. It's going to go down, it's going to bounce, and it's going to go up four fifths. So it's kind of estimating what four fifths would be about 80% of the way up. And then it goes about 80% of the way up. And then once again, it goes 80% of the way up. And lastly, 80% of the way up, and it goes boom. We're just going to say we're just, it's going to continue to bounce. We're going to stop it right there. So that's what I want you to do first. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start at 1.5, alright? We're going to multiply it by 4 fifths. So with the calculator, we're just going to go over here, we're going to take 1.5, multiply it by 0.8, which is 4 fifths, we get 1.2. So we're going to say that equals 1.2. Now, so right here, what's this maximum height? It's, it's actually at 1.2. Then what are we going to do? We're going to take that answer and multiply it by 0.8, which is 0.96. So this right here is 0.96. So what I, what I just did there is I took 1.2, multiplied it by 4 fifths, and I got 9600. So we're going to take that, we're going to multiply it by 0 0.8, we're going to get 0.768. Now we're doing this the long way, then we're going to do the shortcut. And last but not least, six one four four point seven six eight times four fifths is one point six one four. you need to understand that as the ball is going, okay, as the ball is going down, what's it traveling? It's traveling 1.5 meters to the ground, but then it goes up 1.2 and then down 1.2. Then it goes up 0.96 and it goes down 0.96. So every single time, what's happening? It's going up and down except for the very first drop, okay? So here's what I want you guys to understand. We're going to start right here. We're starting with the very first drop, which is 1.5. But then we are doing 1.5 times, I'm going to use 0.8, it's a little bit faster to write. So remember, it went up, and then it went down that amount. Okay? So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to highlight this, bless you. And I highlight this in blue, right here. So it went up that amount, and it went down that amount. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to put to the power of 1 into the power of 1. And what does that represent up here? That represents this part. I'm going to put this in blue. Now I'm going to change it to red. 
for that first. And then I'm going to take 1.5 and I'm going to do 0.8 squared. Because it went 1.5 times 0.8 squared up and it went 1.5 times 0.8 squared down. So it goes up and down. Hopefully this little pattern is making sense, but if it's not, here's what I want you to write above it. Hopefully it helps it make a little bit more sense. Okay? This is 1.5. This right here, this evaluates to 1.2. This evaluates to 1.2. What do you think this evaluates to? That's right. This evaluates to 0.96. And this evaluates to 0.96. So that's this part. Now, for those of you out there who are watching this video who are colorblind, I apologize. Okay, because I have to go to another color, which is green. So I'm just letting you know, I apologize. I, I, I don't have any control over your color blindness. Right? Just talk with your creator about your anger about that. Okay? Right? So lux, we're gonna do. 1.5, open parentheses, 0.8, what do you think I'm going to put right here? U, up, and, by the way, if you're here listening, you probably hear a lot of sighs, because as soon as you're like, oh my gosh, when is this problem going to be over? Soon, just like your life. We're just dust in the wind, people. We're just, I uh, know, I am, I am closer, I am closer to death than you are. Right. Hey, we don't know that. Well, we don't know that, right? Okay. All right, all right. We're just using probabilities right now, but you're probably right. Okay. Okay. And let's go, let's go orange. Let's go orange. Anybody here want to pick who I'm going to write? Uh, uh, we'll put it back. We'll put it back. Well, yeah, but you know what? Why don't you just say parentheses? You know, parentheses. come on. I know parentheses means multiply. That goes I was, up. I was trapped. 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 I was this video will be the least watched video on YouTube. Don't worry, nobody's gonna ever watch this. Probably right. It'll be like, like 20 years later, I'll look and say, like, one view. Like, right, make, it'll be me, because I'll like making sure that, hey, did it actually upload correctly? Unless you're dead. Unless I'm dead. You're right. Here's this. Right. That's exactly you know, what I was just thinking a minute ago. I was like, no, I'm gonna show this to my kids. This is my crazy math teacher. All right. I'm the one. There's lots of math teachers making videos. They're much more interesting than I. All right, so here's what I'm going to write all this down. Okay? Then what we're going to do, we have established a pattern here. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pattern and we are going to make a little equation using sigma notation. But we're going to do this by hand first. All right, so we're going to do the long way. Here we go. Here's the long way. Oh, oh, we're doing the long way. 1.5 plus. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to do like, you know. Now, obviously, how many of those are there? There's two of them, right? Okay. So actually, if we do two times, what's the next one? 0.96 plus two times, what's the next one? You have it on your face. Come on. All right, good. All right. Then plus two times the next one, which is 0.144. All right, is that it? Yeah. All right. And we press enter. And we get oh, 8.58. By the way, that will be the final. You know what? Oh, hold on. So I'll keep going until it's Let's change it to blue. Right here. 8.58. All of those numbers together add up to a total. All of this. To a total. Up. Uh, we'll go here. What is that? All equal? 8.58 meters, which will be the final answer, and when we plug it in, it'll say nice work and good job. Okay? Yes. Watch what we're going to do. Watch this. We're going to extend this pattern. So 
it's been the time. Okay? Now, would you agree? Would you agree that if you have a 1.5 and you have a 1.5 and you add 1.5 and 1.5, that's a total of three. So you had to go up and you had to go down. So I want you to understand. Watch this. Watch this. Three times 0.8 to the first. And on this one, I'm going to put three times 0.8 squared. Trust me, we're almost there. Three times 0.8 and I want you to do the last one, 3 times 0.8 to the 4. Just remember, this right here is actually going to equal 1.2 plus 1.2. If this will, right here, become 2.4. Alright? So that, and then you would keep going down. This would be double, this would be those together. Alright? So 0.96 plus 0.96, just in case you're wondering, right? 0.96 plus 0.96 is 1.92, right? But watch what happens. 3, parentheses, 0.8 squared is also equal to 1.92. Hopefully you guys are seeing a pattern. Kind of sort of. Okay. So, what's 0.768 times 2? Somebody help me out here. 0.768 times 2 is 1.536. So this would be 1.536. And let's do, since we only have one more, we'll do one last one. Alright? So 0 0.6144 times 2 is 1.228. And 3 times 0 0.8 to the power 4 is that. Now, what if I change? I've changed everything to a 3. So here's what I want you to do. What if I did 3 to the power of 0.8? But this is a 1. This is a 2. This is a 3. This is a 4. When I go backwards, this becomes a, a 0. Well, what is 3 times 0.8 to the power of 0? It's 3. But I didn't start. I didn't start at a height of 3. What did I start at? A height of 1.5. So this is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. I need to take negative 1.5 and add it to that 3 in order to get back to 1.5. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create sigma notation with this problem right now. All right? So check it out. I'm going to take the A1 value, okay? I'm going to multiply it by a common rate, and then I'm going to do X minus 1. I'm going to put X equals 1 here, all right? I'm going to put the number 5. If I plug in the number 5 here, how many bounces are there? There's going to be 4 bounces. But I'm actually going to start by adding a negative 1.5 to the sum of all of these. Okay? So here's your final formula. Negative 1.5 plus, get the sigma, we're putting a 5 here. We're going to put x equals 1 here. Our a1 value is 3. What's our rate? 0.8 to the power of x minus 1. This is the shortcut. Okay? So if you're wondering, how in the world would I be able to remember the shortcut? By the way, what did we start a height of? A 1.5. What do I start with? A negative 1.5. Why do I have to do that? Because if this is a 3, I have to subtract 1.5 from it to get back to my original height. So if we started at a height of 10, this, this, this number is going to be a negative 10. If we started at a height of 100, this number is going to be a negative 100. Okay? So everybody, we're going to type this in together. So we're going to type in negative 1.5 plus alpha window number 2. We're going to say x equals 1. 
We're going to plug in a clock. We're going to type in a tree. Three new parentheses. We need point H. We're going to close the parentheses. And we're going to raise it to the power of X minus 1. And we're going to press it. What I want you guys to understand is how we got to that formula. All right, so I'm going to type in 8.58. Just remember, the reason we had to set things up this way is because the ball was not just going, it was going, after the first bounce, it was going up and then down. That's why we had to take the 1.5s and had to make them into a 3, because it, because it traveled up and down. So here we go. Let's type it in. 8.58. Nice work, all right? So that's what you guys are doing on the ball that's bouncing.